I think we can all agree that week four was just a little weird. There were some upsets that caught people completely by surprise. We even had two of the top teams in the power rankings, two of the top teams in the NFL overall, potentially on the verge of losing their games. Now the Patriots and the Chiefs each escaped their games with victories, so they're fine. But that doesn't mean that we can't take a look at week four's risers and fallers. And we have to start in Cleveland, where the Browns arguably put up the biggest statement game of the week. They went to Baltimore on the road in a battle for first place in the AFC North, and they dominated the Ravens 40 to 25. This was a game in which the offensive line for Cleveland, which had been a problem throughout the first three weeks, responded. Nick Chubb went off and Baker Mayfield, who had been criticized a lot for leaving the pocket early when he felt phantom pressure, stayed in and delivered balls accurately. One team that's dropping, it's gotta be Houston. Even with Laramie Tunsil, even with Titus Howard and Max Sharping, it's two high draft picks in the offensive line, the Texans still cannot protect Deshaun Watson. Watson maybe has to get rid of the ball a little bit faster, but he's been sacked 18 times, which is just way too much. A loss against the Panthers doesn't help their cause. It maybe wasn't pretty, but I'm just buying this Minshew mania. It's just been so much fun to watch. And for the Jaguars to go into Denver, which is always a tough place to play, face a 14-point deficit and still come back, I think it says a lot that this Jaguars team could just potentially be fine, even without Nick Foles. A big reason why, Leonard Fournette went off against the Broncos, and if he can continue to regain that momentum and become a dominant rusher, watch out for Jacksonville. You just know if you're the Rams that Jared Goff sometimes is going to have inconsistent games. But really the most concerning part about their loss against the Buccaneers on Sunday in which they allowed 55 points was that defense. Aaron Donald admitted that he needs to get going. He needs to generate more pressure. But just Jameis Winston and Bruce Arians, that's a nice pairing. But there's no reason why the Buccaneers should be dropping 55 on you at home.